if you are welcome to my youtube channel make them tech where you have the opportunity of watching video tutorials that borders on programming i'm talking about the likes of express javascript node react and so on so today we are going to look at something very interesting something that has to do with getting started with node writing the same server with node so i want to believe that the issue of node would have been a question that you guys would have been trying to get answers to i want to assure you that this tutorial video is going to do justice to that so what is node you know people have always been saying ah, is node a programming language is it a framework is it a library uh, i want to tell you that node is a platform or you say is a runtime environment so it's actually a platform that is built on top of some things or you say it's actually a runtime environment that allows you to run something so i normally see node as three things that is v8 engine libov and no modus and modus rather so v8 engine is the javascript engine that compiles javascript to uh, machine code and then libov is the asynchronous library that is inside node then we have modus modus that helps you to build server side applications or systems applications or network applications uh, so you know uh, before node came javascript has always been used within the browser to talk to the dom to do dom manipulation to talk to the browser and to do mostly client side programming but with him, it's like JavaScript spilled over to the server and to other environment because uh, this kind of thing is like JavaScript can now be executed outside the browser. That is what Node has made JavaScript to be today. So when you talk about desktop applications, you are talking about mobile applications, you're talking about, uh, talking about um, um, embedded system, network applications, CLI, now it's possible to do that with to do those things with node uh with javascript rather and that is what node has done for us so uh there are some things i want you to understand about node and these three things have actually come together to form the non-blocking architecture of node and that is asynchronous io event driven single threaded so actually node is 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 event driven is single threaded and it does asynchronous io today so what do we mean by asynchronous io actually you know when you have like maybe two three four five requests and one request will have to wait for the others for the other to finish uh, that one is called synchronous io that is when the the request one is blocking the second request from being processed but for node that does asynchronous io request one and request two and request three as many as possible can be processed concurrently so that is asynchronous i what do you mean by io io means input output what are io tax what are io operations they are like when you are querying the db or you are trying to get data from an api from another server all those fall under the category of io now talking about event driven actually you know javascript by default is event driven you know from our normal uh event and like when maybe you just do on click and then and if and, and if you fire a function or maybe windows dot on click you know the on click is an event handler so also we have that in node there is an event loop so when event emitter emits an event then the 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 event will be fired so and that is enabled by event handler so we also have another third uh, thing that is single traded no the single traded it doesn't like you know in our normal php java and co you know this issue of when a request comes in a new thread will have to be spawned so when you have request one coming in is running on a single thread is running on a thread another request comes in is running on that thread and then you keep having multiple trades called multi-trading so but javas but node has afforded us that opportunity of running all our requests on a single trade though when you look at it critically it's not actually like maybe one one trade alone 
it's actually like maybe two thread like it's running the uh, the event loop is on another thread then the execution on another thread yes but actually it's to a single thread because we don't spawn a request per we don't run a request per thread so these three things come together to form the non-blocking architecture of node and that is why node is very fast actually all these concepts are not new it's not new that is starting them they've been in existence for a long time and just as node has has, has come to shout it to make it louder and that is why you even have other languages coming on board to look into asynchronicity and then try to bring it in into their implementations so we we talked about modules i want to be explicit about it a little talking about native modules custom modules external modules now we have inbuilt uh, we have native modules as inbuilt modules that are inbuilt to your node in your node uh, runtime you have an example of http we have dns we have fs then we also have that fs is file system so we have different modules that you can use in your uh, application then also modules that are built by you yourself and then you export it then we have external modules that you install like express framework like sales framework like azure's there are other modules that you can bring into your what are modules modules are like the kind of very smart libraries or let me say super libraries that you can bring together one or two three four five things together to achieve a very big thing so without wasting much time let's get started let's create a folder and fire up our vs code so now let's say we've created a folder that is simple node server then you open your vs code and then you start with a simple server. You know, uh, if you are a php person or somebody that is uh, from another um background of let me maybe java or whatever you it might sound strange that you want to write a server you want to code a server from pop yes we do that and then um, uh, we have to get started by using um, an npm command called npm init like we are initialized then we are saying yes to the default questions at least that's some default answer so we are saying yes to it so we do that straight away so and then we get the results the result that we get here we give us a package.json file so this is the name and then this is the main file that is going to contain our server code so let's create index.js so we've created that and then so the first thing we need to do is we need to load our module we use require function to load our module and the module we want to use is http you know we are talking about server now we are talking about server when you talk about server and client programming you know the server will always be listening while the client will always be talking so the client will talk to the server and then the server will reply so is a request be made by the client and the server is going to respond to it so now what affords us the opportunity of doing that with node is http module that is the native module embedded in node so let's do uh const that's http require then http i think that's all so now let's there is a particular function called create server yes that we can create our server so then actually we we need to store this in a variable server then we can now do server but listen so our server needs to listen on a particular port uh, let's let's create that const port let's say it's got to 3000 we can even say 4000 you can use any number four digit or five digit but it has rules so you have to get the rules so like uh, we put a callback here a callback function here so once the this thing is running then we do console.log use our function here server running on ports it's just because we are just starting so if you are not familiar with some of this i could have used the string try here also so but i just want to use uh this form of concussion so now should we use the language we are live now or let's try what we've done and let's see 
the result node index so you type node then you put the name of your file you don't need to even put the extension name dot js you just do it and then you run your code so let's open our browser let's see what do we have in our browser so um then i can do look at those three thousand now you can see the behavior now it will keep rolling rolling expecting something from the server the browser is declaring and he has just made a request to this server and now he's waiting for a response none now let's let's go back to our code back the number one rule of node is that anything that does io should always use a callback so now let's put our function then let's put our request is actually object request response which we are going to use to send our request our response back to the client so now we can say if we do like this console.log request received yeah so now so here now we can you can let's say i want to open my postman so let's let's use our let's shut down our server and then let's restart so now request received yes because the the browser can you see is running here so that is why you have that so now let's try to write a a, a, a um, uh, let's try to send something to the client so let's say request response rather dot write let's just say hello hello node so that's what we have now let's now let's go there uh, let's go let's use postman we can actually use postman to do some of these things Can you see now that it's just loading, it keeps loading, it keeps loading. The reason is because we are it doesn't know the kind of request that is coming. So what we need to do is we have to put the we have to put some information in our head, in our response header. So that is right head. So this is just like your header in your request, and then we can put 200 comma. Then we put the content type. So it's actually a, an object for those of us that understand JavaScript. So that is okay. So that's text, yes. Then text, which let's say plain, plain text. Okay. So and also for every other request, we have to end it. You know, it's actually a response, a request response circle. So it needs to be ended. So that's it. So now for what we've written. Let's just try to run it again and let's see. So now let's go back to our postman. So you use your postman to test your applications. So you can see now, hello node. So this is the request we are sending. And look at the status here, 200, okay. So the, the 200 here is one of the HTTP status code. If the page is not found, that is 404. If there is an internal server error, that is 500. So we have others like 41, 403, and the likes. Now you can send this. Is, now let's go back to Postman so that we can see what, what is being sent. This is a text that has been sent, and that is a low node. So you can see JSON, XML, HTML, text, and okay auto so we can send different types of data to the client so it depends on whatever it depends on what you are sending now let's try to improve this application by trying to send 
uh, what is called um, uh, an HTML data, like you are sending an HTML file. So let's change this to HTML. And then, so let's write some things. Okay, even from what we've written here now, if I click on save and I go to this place and I put and I restart my my server and I go back here, can you see that it has changed to HTML here? Yes, so that's it. So, and then even this one too is going to work. Yes, we can see it here. No, hello, node. Now, so how can we send, um, let's say we want to send a kind of, um, a HTML a full page now we can do something like now let's write this this is going to be like this doc type then let's put HTML and then so to our normal HTML here and then let's close it so let's close it and then you know we have to write something inside too so let's do this and that is going to be um what comes after HTML? okay add the add tag and then let's do the closing tag then let's put the title so the title what should we call the title so we can just say a simple server in node so let's just tell let's change let's do that now so we a simple server let's just say a simple server for now and then we can also put our body tag here too so our body tag body tag that is body let's this is the opening tag and then let's put the closing tag and then let's just fire some that is okay so this is going to be like our h1 h1 okay you can even put it like this f yes even h1 like this we can just say a simple a a simple server in node and then this one can also be your paragraph tag and then we can just say i am enjoying node so you save it so and then we run our server again so let's go to this and then let's refresh our browser you can see you can inspect to see what is going on mm -hmm. so you can see the, the, uh, we made a, a mistake here so let's try to correct that so this is opened but we didn't close it h1 so now then let's restart again so we are fine you can see it here under inspect you can see our title you can see it here so but we have a better way of doing this using string litra so we can actually change this back to string litra so i want to just comment out this part and then let's work with string literals so let's say we have let data be equal to then let's put our string literal here okay okay now even before this one you can also use uh you can do different endpoints you can you can route your request based on the the endpoint or the query or whatever that comes from the client now you can put your if statement here and say if request dot url is equal to the root url like this the root endpoint then do this so here now we can we can talk about our data let's here, here now want to respond with an html data so let's put our string litra here then you can now write your html like the way you are as, just as if you are writing HTML in your client side. So HTML. Uh, HTML.
you just call it um, load server i2 um, then first let's go to body body so we can put our h1 here call it a simple node node server then just lent how to write a simple server in node so close our brackets i uh, close our tag so this is what we have now and this is easier then i can now respond with response dot right and that is right head rather that's right head then I put 200, then I put the content document, the content type, content so we find now then response dot right then I can put that variable data inside here and then i can write this to end the request so we are good to go so that's what we have here so let's try to run this code and let's see the result so if i still go to my this case it has changed a simple node server i've just learned how to write a simple server in node so that's it and if you go to postman you should have the same message that's it. So you know this is the html data that comes to the client when it gets to the browser the browser has a layout engine that is going to compile all this and give you your results in the browser so that is what we are having but here the postman gives you the raw data that is being sent and that is html and its status is 200 okay so let's try to check out other uh, data that you can send let's say else if um sending a plain data now if request dot url is equal to should we just say let's say plain data so plain data here we want to send plain data so let's copy the all of this so let's put it here so here we can just send our data to be hello node like we did the other time yeah we did that the other time so um hello node then let me change this to plain and then let's rerun our code um let's try our code yeah so let's use postman so here now if i put slash plain data so i should have hello node and that's it can you see text 200 now let's go to um let's try and see if we can send um a json data a type of data called json request if i request dot url is equal to let's say json data then do this so let's copy what we have here and then uh, you know our json data is like an object in javascript or also like or an array mm -hmm. either of the two so let's say we are sending name is equal to let's say andrew andrew jack then the name the age let's say age is 35 and then let's say married i just want to send these three types of primitive values that's uh, true and that's it so we have the data here and then 
200 content type so we have to change it here to application json yes so here we put our so we have to put json.stringify because we are sending json file or json data so we have to stringify the, the data then we hand our request so let's rerun the code so let's change it to json data and then let's see what we're going to have so that's it can you see json and this is it now let's say uh maybe if somebody just decides to select a different route that we have not catered for here what should happen so we can just simply send um what do we need to send okay let's just try and send uh 404 page not found so that is 404 here then so let's say we are sending the plane should we send plane or okay we can even send plane let's just say let's just say um um page not found so or let's just put 404 here 404 404 page not found so can you see now okay we can write it we can also use end because the, there is no point doing anything with it so let's just end the request we can end the request by sending a message back to the person or to the client so let's do that and then let's run our code so let me just let me just add something to this there's nothing like this so it's sending me 404 pick no found and that status is 404 not found and it's a text and we can also send it as html data just the way we have done we can do it with json data we have done so that's just it so this is basically how to uh write a simple server in node without even using any external frameworks or library so that is that is that so there are many there are other things that you might need to understand about all this like when you talk about post request put request delete request how do you take care of that so sometimes it's very hard working with uh, um, all these things without using a framework so that is why your best any day anytime is to use express framework whereby you can easily write your server to attend to get request post request delete request put request even patch request so and that is going to even speed up your productivity so i want to believe that you must have enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe to my youtube channel make them tech also turn on your notification uh button and even the bell and i want to assure you that as you keep following through with our video tutorials you are going to achieve your goal of becoming that badass programmer out there solving problems thank you for your time